Hey NSPPDians, what God cannot do does not exist. So I'm giving this testimony from the UK. My name is Miriam and I live in Reading. Um, I am so on this altar, like I'm obsessed with it. Um, so last year, my nephew was in prison. He got arrested. There was a crime that he had committed and they added extra charges and he was on held on remand for six months. And then they told him that if he pled guilty to two of the charges, right, it would decrease his sentence, but they were still going to be sending him to jail and he could have been spending up to three or four years in prison. I said, not on my watch. I went home, I got my Bible out, I got my book out. And when Pastor Jerry said, write down, things that you don't want to see. I said, my nephew is not going to jail, right? He's going to be released in the name of Jesus. And then Pastor Jerry said, your relative is going to be released from prison. There is a miraculous release from every prisoner. The Lord is releasing your loved one. I claimed it, I claimed it, I claimed it. Then yesterday, the 12th of February, Pastor Jerry said, in less than 24 hours, there is going to be a miracle that sounds like a lie. In less than 24 hours, let there be that turnaround. Sounds like a lie. <laughs> Woo! Today, 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 my nephew was released from jail and the judge said to him, you should never have pled guilty to any of those charges. She said, not only am I releasing you from prison, but I am also clearing you of every single charge against you. He walked out of that courthouse yesterday with a clean slate, Pastor Jerry, a clean slate. What God cannot do does not exist. And while he was in prison, he gave his life to Christ. This altar works. In fact, I'm scared of this altar. Thank you, Pastor Jerry, Pastor Aguru, Pastor OK Mama Anno, and everybody who says amen.